It's gonna be quick. Here's my here's my hole. Second one. <laughs> <laughs> beautiful people it is me Kelly I am here today with my good friend Vano hi and we are getting ready for fall with a fall makeup glam look even though we are in LA and it is still literally 90 degrees but fall is a mindset <laughs> not a time of the season for us and we feel as though it is fall so we shall make it so here if you are into this if you have a good time today with us go ahead and hit that subscribe button and give us a like and a thumbs up and a thumbs up Mm-hmm. Are I like really and a thumbs up it. the same thing? A like on the page and then give us a thumbs up with your hand. Maybe leave a comment too if you want. Yeah, and I'll read it maybe. So let's get started. Make me beautiful. All right, let's do it. It was... By the way, we're going to primer eyes with the P. Louise base. Oh. This is Boss. Have you used this before? No. Boss. I don't use a base or a primer <laughs> or anything. So when I'm doing my eyeshadow, I pick up whichever brush I feel like and whatever makeup's on there, I just put it in my crease and call it a day. Perfection. For those of you who don't know, Kelly kind of is the disco queen. She's got some amazing <laughs> content on her Instagram. I still say that like Egyptian, half up, half down, I always talk about it. It's like you had the wire in your hair and you oh, were yeah. just painted for the gods, like Cleopatra. Yeah, I'll tell you who did my makeup that day. Nova Egyptian. Kaplan. Ugh. She's also done like Chrissy Teigen's makeup and stuff. Well, so. she slayed. She slayed your face. And Jesse Switzer did my hair. Really? Mm-hmm. Well, they made you look boss. Well, All right. Put their, put their icons somewhere. And here, here, here. With this, this is, what is this? This is the 3503 Fierce by Nature palette from Morphe. And, I mean, look at those fall tones, people. A look at those fall tones. So we're just going to have some fun today. We're just going to dip into the shade and maybe a little bit. We'll just mix that together. Oh, wait. Okay, so he stuck his little brush in which one? Is this These one? Two. Yeah. And those are them. pretty much basically the only kinds of colors that I ever use. Since I'm a brown person, I figure if I put brown tones on my eyelids, it's going to look somewhat, like, correct. <laughs> Cohesive? <laughs> You've recently just started to get, like, really deep into makeup. Yeah, I just recently, someone bought me my first, like, brush set. Like, <laughs> this is his brush set. Yeah. It's beautiful, and they're also fluffy and pink. Mine look <laughs> crusty and gross. It's still, it's still working. <laughs> But yeah, I have the brushes now, and I'm trying to figure out what they're all for. And I don't know. I've just assigned meanings to each of them. Like the big fluffy ones especially, I don't know what any of them are for, so I just have decided. Like the big fluffy and what, like this? Yeah, like like this type of stuff. I don't know what any of them are for, so like this one, I would use this for like, maybe when you've got loose powder left and you want it gone. Ding, ding, ding! This one I might use for like blush. It's a little bit dense for blush, feel it? So maybe like a contour, maybe packing on powder. Yes, or for foundation. <laughs> this is foundation, right? Yes, that is definitely, like, feel how dense it is. Like, that's gonna just... Yeah, I don't have any of this, so these are nice. This is what I use for blush. Okay, and then I have a brush that's a little small, and this that I said is for highlighter. Cool, I use that for contour. <laughs> <laughs> tap, tap, tap. Who are your, uh, your queen parents? My queen parents? Oh, like, gosh. Build, like, okay, not just your queen parents, but, like, build me your family tree. Well, Miss Fame's definitely in it. Okay. Uh, Raven. Okay. Raven and Raja are my parents. Mine are too! <laughs> Raven and Raja are my family, my parents. <laughs> Yara Sophia is like this one, this one. my half sister. <laughs> okay, for me, hands down, Alyssa Edwards is like my crazy aunt. I mean, Adore would be like. Oh, Adore is like my cousin. Yeah, like my drunk cousin. Um, oh, Bianca. Bianca. Yeah, yeah, she would also be like one of my crazy aunts. Bianca would be the aunt that like gives me so much but then like she'll just throw in some really bomb advice. Yeah. You like can't you look like total trash, but like it's okay because one day you'll be beautiful. So you look like total trash, try again. Yeah. You're like, you're right, I will you're try right. again. Blah, blah, blah. But so anyway. we're gonna go with the Fenty Beauty before she continues on her lovely story. This is the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Foil. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Yeah, Kelly's a sparkle queen. That's pretty. So we've got this nice wash of just like wonderful <laughs> fall colors on her face. And I really wanna give her some like glitz and glam. So always, like Rihanna kills it with Fenty. I love for this palette. Simple yet sophisticated. Let's say you could wear this on like a first date. Maybe if you're like meeting your significant other's like family member. Actually, I'd probably say no, depending on the <laughs> number. Like she's gonna be wearing a lot of makeup, so if they're okay with the cake face, so this why it's great working with this palette because I can do the eyes first, make it as dramatic as I want, and then sweep away all the fog. And it's like it was never there. The whole concept of doing your eyes before your face is relatively new to me. Really? Yeah. Yeah, the whole just like having all this access, access to makeup knowledge and everyone doing contour and everyone doing full face, I think is relatively new. At least very much kind of 
yeah, has very much exploded in the past few years, like you said. So I'm adding a fun little pop of color because why not be fun and like a little orangey festive? Usually a lot of people just like to like do a very bright color there. But I mean, I want to mix it up today. It's getting crazy. It's getting I'm crazy today. Getting today. freaking getting jiggy. It's getting so wild. Gotta stay hydrated. You know what's always frustrating for me? Okay, so like, this is why I think it's so hard to buy palettes, because this is beautiful, right? Mm -hmm. But then, there's like that guy. What am I gonna do with that? Whatever you, you want. Know? Just like some fugly color I'm not gonna use. I mean, this color's fine, I guess. I just would never use it for anything ever. The green? Maybe I'm not doing makeup right. No, you're doing your makeup ever you're supposed to do makeup. It's so, a Jenny. I did buy one palette. I think it's Morphe's Such a Gem palette, so it's bigger than this, I think, by like a row. Okay. Anyway, it's gorgeous, and it's all these like beautiful gem tones. It's basically like an array of purples. Ooh. And I bought it because I love all those colors, and then I realized I probably don't need like 36 shades of purple. Yes, you do. Or do I? You do. <laughs> okay, sorry, I had to get a makeup wipe because I'm gonna clean up her edges. Ooh, your eyes are big and popping, and I have to put my hair because it is a thousand degrees in here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm new to this. Yes, Kelly's our baby YouTuber. <laughs> how sharp that line is now. Ooh. So we're gonna go in with the Kaleido Cosmetics Obsidian uh, Liner, and it's obviously just like felt tip. I got this in my Ipsy bag when I still paid for Ipsy. Ooh, come on, felt. Okay, so I definitely want a little Amy Winehouse on this side. But <laughs> it's okay, that's why we do the eyes first. Because then we can just wipe, wipe, wipe all your Black problems wipe away. away. So you, technically have like combo dry skin, right? Yeah, so. I mean, yeah, my skin's never flaky, but I'm also not dripping in oil, so yeah. Okay. So combo. we'll say like combo dry. So combo we're gonna dry. go in with the tried and true no pore bloom. Can we see that? Anyway. My phone can't handle tried it. Tried and true no pore bloom. I mean, this is like a classic What primer. is it? Oh, it's a primer. It's a primer. So it's okay, it looks nice very like, pretty. So I'm pretty much just focusing really on like her T-zone area because that's all we're gonna really handle today. Um, and knowing Kelly for as long as I do, she does get a little bit, she doesn't get as dry around her edges, so I don't really have to deal with that that much. A little ASMR for y'all. So to set her under eyes, we're gonna go with the Fenty Beauty Powder in Butter. Probably one of my all time favorite powders that have ever been created. It's just literally like butter on the skin. It melts all of the makeup in. Look up. And you just, Get the most flawless finish. So what's your technique? Are you gonna bake my face? Um, I'm going to bake certain parts of your face, but because you have a little bit more of like a dry combo um, skin type, I don't wanna go too heavy on the powder because then it's gonna accentuate all your pores. Baking is the process where you take powder and you apply it to the skin, and what really happens is the powder creates a layer, a barrier between your skin and the air, so the heat from your skin literally starts to bake the makeup on your face. So now we're gonna go with the KKW Beauty Contour Kit in medium, mm. and I'm gonna blend these two together. This one kind of goes a little bit more orange, so she's kind of getting a little more like a bronzy effect, but when you mix these two colors together, it's like perfect contour. Bella. We're gonna slice and dice. Slice and dice, baby. Face. Oh, look at that, a cheekbone. Oh. Kelly actually does have a beautiful bone structure. Oh, thank you. I've got a very big jaw. Well, you also talk a lot. Wow. <laughs> so right now we are going and baking her cheeks here because I really want her beautiful uh, cheekbones to pop. So we're just cleaning up all of that goodness right underneath there. What am I going to do next? Oh, her nose contour. My nose contour, we otherwise it'll just disappear off my feet. So then I'll be the laughing stock of the whole town. A freaking nose. If we don't contour that nose. Contour that damn nose. We'll just do that again. Yeah, use all the colors. <laughs> Can you? No, we can't see because you're not here. No. We'll get demonetized in three seconds. Well, I'd have to get monetized to get demonetized. <laughs> <laughs> but at least I won't get sued for copyright infringement. True, true, true. So we're gonna go in now with the Jaclyn Mood Light just to give her a little bit more of like a nice healthy glow, luminosity. Jaclyn Mood Light, what is it? Is it a powder? Like, is It's it a powder and it kind of acts as like, um, it's very finely milled. So like, look at right now on your forehead and like your cheek here, it just gave you this beautiful oh, kind yeah. of like glow without making it look like a highlight. It's kind of like that glow from within. We'll also take it under your collarbone. She's got good collarbones. Look at that. My clavicle. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, candy dishes. All right, highlight. 
highlights like the best Again, part. we're gonna go with another Jaclyn product. This is her loose highlighter in the shade Bomb. <laughs> So we're just going to do it. Oh, lighthouse. Yes. Okay. Beautiful. Splendifisa. Splendifisa. This is splendifis. So before we go any further, we're going to set the face. And I'm not going to show this product on camera because Kelly doesn't support this brand. And here's a real question. Do you ever do your makeup and not set it? Does, it act, does setting spray actually make a difference? Yes. It just kind of melts oh, everything together. I'll believe it. It smells good. I just feel like I just got car washed. <laughs> you did. So for blush, we're gonna go in with this beautiful blush palette from Juvia's Place, and this is their the Saharan Blush Volume Two. Volume Two. Ooh, look at those blushes. I kind of want to dip into these two because it's gonna be a more like a rosy fall. Mm. You moment. dip into it. You oh, dip it. This is my favorite blush brush to use, and it's by your girl Jacqueline Hill. <laughs> Jacqueline Hill JH06 brush. Okay, we're gonna take Tao and Lena and mix these two together. Ah, uh, yes, just a healthy glow. And I actually learned a trick from Painted by Spencer because I was watching one of his makeup videos yesterday. He likes to take blush and not just apply it to the face, he likes to bring it down into the decolletage area because mm. it kind of drains the whole look together. Now, we're gonna go back and smoke out that lower lash line. So I'm going to dip that into, you know, I like that. There's it's no like a, like a, 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 a Cranberry? Raspberry? Maybe that would be called In Command. Okay, I popped off camera and I put on my mascara and I painted inside my waterline. And now we're ready to continue. I'm gonna go in and add just a little bit of banana powder here too to just give her a little bit more brightening. Right in the areas where I want her to be the brightest and most beautifulest. Lips. We are Lips. so close to the finish line. So I say we go with something like dark. This. You want to go dark, dark? Yeah. Okay. Ooh, yes. yeah. What's this? This looks good. Yes. This is Tall house slobber. This is house lab. It's the Gaga's line. <laughs> they, what shade is it? Oh, does it say? I don't know. Oh, I said it. It's R.I.P. No, that's the rip lip liner. They're all lip liners. <laughs> I thought the color was R.I.P. Oh, it's, R. In, the, it's in the shade neat. Oh, whoops. Almost done with this look, so I pulled these Ardell 3D faux minks mm. that I want to throw on her, and then for gloss, gloss, we're gonna go in. He's with from the, the East Coast. The case gloss. Could tell. And then for gloss, we're gonna go in with the Lorite lip gloss in the shade <laughs> Chaser. Wow, that is hard to see. I feel like we don't even need glue, right? Because they're all new. Just shove them on there. No, we need glue. Do you know what this glue lash glue smells like? Uh, tar? Something else. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, that, that, That's that, really bad. It's worse yeah. than I recall. Let us know down in the comments if you've ever smelled dual lash glue and what does it remind yeah. you of. So, while the lash glue is drying, let's get this lip under control. That's wild. Yes, it's crazy. See, this is how you know he's fancy. He puts on his hand and he puts on a brush, then my lips. That's how you stay clean. Yeah. Trying to be sanitized. Yeah, because if he does it straight out of the bottle, then my lip juice gets back in the bottle, and then if he puts on another person, then we got a problem. Then if I give it to it, then if I wouldn't be able to use it because then it would be hers. Yeah. Smack your lips together. There you go. Ooh. I don't know. Alright, so I'm ready for fall. Maybe 90 degrees, but I'm ready for a sweater and for some pumpkin spice chai. I'm close completely just like one Ooh. All right. My lashes are on. My face has been caked. My Face is ready for fall. I feel shiny. I feel beautiful. Let us know what y'all think. Uh, now, please enjoy me <laughs> posing for you for several moments longer. Watching this 
video if you liked it. Subscribe down below, hit the like button. You can follow me and Vano on Instagram. I will link us wherever I link us. And uh, let's have a good fall together. I'm ready. My face is ready. Let's do this.